up guys? So last week we were filming in Utah for Rob's birthday and we were being absolute savages. <laughs> but this week we are in Mexico and this week we are going twice as harder. <laughs> Mexico. We're in Mexico! Look at this. The Don Julio is fine. Yeah. When in Mexico, we gotta take some shots. Right, so we've been in Mexico for a whopping five minutes and we're already getting mojitos, margaritas, tequila. It's literally 9.35 Literally. My this is what happens when you're in Mexico and you just land. My kidneys are already and the, crying. And the dopamine <laughs> is rushing through the veins. Boy, babe. This guy with the Android. Dude, listen, this Android is sick. First of all, look at this. Boom. Look at this sleek texture. Perfect back. You know when I walk into a club, you know I do? I walk up to your girl and say, Excuse me, ma'am. I'm gonna write down your number. Oh, man. You pulled out the I'll pen. I whip out the pen, the pen, bro. I whip it out. Just bada bing, bada bing. All right. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? I don't know who that guy is. He's in my house, though. I'll tell you that. Wow. Do I feel excited? This place is crazy. All right. I'm gonna wait for like him to like open the door. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be like a whole. So we just pulled up to the apartment. This insane view. Look at this, guys. This is actually like a heart shaped with a top down. Look at the man icon. Let me show you the space. One down, three beds. One down, three beds. All right, that's probably gonna be. This is our home for like the next four days. Look at the food. I didn't expect art. What the moly? Okay guys, so this is the first day of the event, so pretty much I'm staying in, in Mexico in this big ass mansion, this resort for a few days. I got hired to train and kind of creatively direct this videography team. And it's pretty cool because I've never actually been hired to like train someone one-on-one, -on -one, so that's something that I'm looking forward to because I've always wanted to kind of sit down one-on-one, -on -one, fully give them my insight on how I creatively come up with ideas. I think that's going to be super fun and I've never done that before. So right now the event is going on and there's a whole bunch of people downstairs, entrepreneurs, agency owners. Joe Kaplan is talking right now. So I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna show you guys some of the people that are going downstairs and just kind of showcase what's going on. Can't complain, I'm in Mexico, I'm drinking mimosas. <laughs> Now we are in a freaking yacht. This is really kind of like one thing that I just love about what I do and kind of like everything that I get to experience and the people that I get to share this with. It's a boy Anthony right there. Dale, say out of the vlog. And that's really why I kind of do what I do. I was just trying to think about it, but like I just might be living my dream life already. Like I'm already traveling, kind of like doing everything. And so I think that this is one of those moments where I'm reminded of that and I'm just super, super thankful for everything that has happened in my life. And um, I've grown a lot of self-love because this is all possible because of me, because I actually believe in myself and what I'm able to produce and I love myself, so. So after we were done with Joel's event, it was time to go to our next spot, a house completely in the middle of the jungle. Are we in the jungle? I think we're in the jungle. So where are we right now? We're pulling up to the pad that everyone said was shit. Yep. And I'm gonna school all these fools because I'm the best at booking places. 
So basically, our last house caught on fire, and now we have to switch locations. Yeah, we gotta switch locations. Yeah, there Everything was... I own just keeps catching on fire. Exactly. So this is a brand new location. Crazy ass little house in the middle of the jungle. Uh, yeah. Como <laughs> So we just walk in our room and My we have room? a little friend Where? that's uh, trying to sleep with us tonight. But we got oh, a shit. that's a wild tarantula. You know, you know, like, that's a big ass there. spider. I've never seen something like that. <laughs> you know you're in the oh, middle of the yeah, jungle yeah. when there's a big tarantula in the room. Yeah. Look at this. I'm trying to flip the camera. Oh, no, you can't do that in the. You can. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> so you tell me. Okay. Dude, there's a spider in our friend's room. What? It's fucking gigantic. You think it's poisonous? I don't think I, think, I don't think it's poisonous, but I think the bite. You think it's poisonous? Nah, Yay, bro. I love spiders. There's no way, yeah, there's no way, way we're sleeping in this room. This way you could probably get rid of it. It gives you a stomp. Hell no. Nah. Paris' room has a tarantula. This guy just has a big tarantula in his room. I don't know what we're gonna do to get him out because he's a. Where'd he go? He's heavyweight. 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 I don't know. Yo, I don't know, bro. Okay, anyway, so he was there. Yeah, well, he oh, was there. Okay, hold on. Yo, shine, shine a light, bro. Shine a light. Oh, shit. There he is. There he is. He's right there. He's out there. there he is. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, shit, bro. All right, listen. 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 We need to come up with a strategic plan to eliminate him. All right. Here, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna draw him out. You kill him. <laughs> no, fuck that. What is happening in my room? Not... <laughs> what? what the tarantula. The tarantula, bro. Is it big? Yes. It's huge. There's a tarantula in the room. It's gonna eat bro. me, bro. Can I see it? Yes. Come here, bro. Yeah, come here, come down. Come down, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, Where did he go? All right, I like how we're all just fucking stuck together. <laughs> no, dude, there was two. Yeah, we got one. You know there was right. two? That was the what? second one. That was the second one. There was another one. So, oh, I think I, I think I saw it. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Your parents just jumped over the fucking <laughs> 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 You did that right where the fight was. Yes. Oh my god, oh my god. Bro. Bro, that man started jumping doing kung fu, bro. <laughs> Everybody like kung fu, bro. <laughs> I saw you prepping to hit it. And you were hitting it right in my direction. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 Yo, what the fuck is going on, bro? This was some great content, I'll tell you that. Oh That's pretty good. It off to a great start, all right? Let me tell you what, Paul. Can you imagine <laughs> your. Bed frame is Wait, how did it get in? That's a real question. Well, probably because his door was open all day. Yo, oh. we gotta check our room, Dale. Do you see, do you see my stains on there? But I'm staying on there. Wait, where did the spider go? Do you know where he went? He's outside, bro. Where? Where though? Somewhere. He literally broke that. <laughs> we will prevail, guys. Like, we the will prevail. Like, Just show it to myself. I saw you were your shit. Just show this. Wow. Bro, I was there, like, why are these dudes calling me, bro? I'm trying to sleep. And then I was like, it better be something good. It was trying to sleep good. Talk. It was something good. We saved it. So the cool thing about this place is that it actually has its own restaurant in it. So we don't even have to leave the place. We can just order something from the menu. <laughs> A sand hill and then it fucked up the camera and the mortar. Oh. Like sand got in the body that it couldn't like spin the the um, the wings, I guess. I don't know what it's called. Colors. Yeah, it couldn't spin it fast enough. So then like, fuck. How'd you clean it? I couldn't. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so we just pulled up to this crazy cenote, which I just learned what it was. And it's basically like this beautiful, like little kind of small little lake in the middle of nowhere with some crystal clear spring water. And the boys already jumped in. So pretty much we're just hanging out right now. We're gonna film everything. Got Paris behind the camera. My new friend Dale from Philippines that I just uh, met right now. This is pretty much what we're going to do for the next few hours. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, Oh 
That's it. <laughs> Same. Hello. Wow. What is that, bro? This is the GoPro Max 360 virtual reality camera. Capture some cars. Man, this thing's crazy. I actually saw it last night. He was showing me some crazy things with this. I love how like all my friends are YouTubers. So it like it really inspires me to like also talk to the camera and just put my life out there because I have a pretty cool life. And uh, I kind of want to share what the world inspires. So I really love that my friends are into the same things that I am. It really helps me out a lot. Dale is learning how, for the first time ever, Dale's learning how to be a photographer. Piero, what are your main notes that you have to say to Dale here? For the future, when we look back on Dale, when he's an expert level right, photographer, Dale, so this is to future Dale. It's all about controlling your light and composition. If you have a, a human subject, is in focus. And you want to basically show off your subject in a cool way. But also make sure that your composition is aligned so it's not a crooked picture and it all seems symmetrical. What do you have to say to the future version of you who's like an expert photographer and traveling the world? I'm going to be so good at holding a camera. Believe it. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> oh my boy. I know it. I know he's going to do it. Because I paid for it. It's already happened. It's already happened. It's already happened, dude. It already exists. Yeah. Will you look at the camera? Like a really fucking cool way. This is a vlog to remember Dale's first time ever really taking a photo. I, mean, I think I really enjoyed this shot. Oh, yeah. Come on, you can't say that looks bad. Dale, are you ready to put photographer in your Instagram I'm bio? Ready. Hopefully one day. For now, I'm still like budding photographer. Come on. Was it Gas Boys? Was his first photo Gas? Some, yeah, some yeah. are Gas, some are like pretty shit, but yeah, I'll take it. It's cock blocked by Icon's foot right I here. know, I was... <laughs> Fuck, I didn't want to say was So talking, it's the so last day and we're here in Tulum, so me and the boys are just spending the last day taking some photos. Yes, we're just getting content of each other, filming the drone, filming King the shit only. King shit only, that's right. We're taking pictures, we're flying the drone, we're just pretty much like cherishing the moment, the last day that we have in this beautiful, beautiful little villa. And we're literally in the middle of the jungle right now. Like, look at this. Around us is just pure jungle. And I even flew the drone, so we are actually in the jungle. It's not no cap shit. The past couple of days have just been so great. I've been reflecting so much as a person, who I am, what's my mission, what do I want out of life, who I want to be around with. And, you know, it's crazy because sometimes you think that these trips, all you think about is the money, all you think about is, you know, getting the next paycheck. And little did I know how much more I would learn out of this, how much more I would learn out of myself and just grow spiritually as a human. So that's one of the beautiful things that I just love about traveling is that traveling makes me realize how, how thankful and how blessed I am. This trip was definitely one of those situations. So I'm very, very thankful. Shout out to Icon for believing in me and bring me along. All is love, man, all is love. I'm actually gonna get that tattoo on me one day, but yeah, guys, like, look at this. This is just absolutely beautiful. Shout out to all these boys right here, guys. Nothing but love for these guys. Really indulge in, like, the moment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because we travel to a lot of places, and I feel like as time goes by, the memories just become a part of other memories. Like when you're really in one of those moments and you sit down and you really flourish everything and you absorb all the energy and you're radiant off that, that's when you like, you don't think you excel, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all right guys, so now it's raining. It's, it's, it's pouring. <laughs> and we're in, the, we're in the rooftop having a deep conversation, but yes, we can't do that anymore. <laughs> so now me and Paris are, I guess we're gonna go back to the HQ. Ah, uh, that looks so cool, bro. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the situation is as follows. Half of the group has split up to look for a tattoo shop amongst an emergency, and I am with Omir, and now we're on our way to get a tattoos, but it's our last day in Tulum, so we decided to go full demon. Also, it's raining. And it hasn't rained once. Not one time. Not once not, has it rained. <laughs> now it's not raining once. the last day we're here. Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, Icon's about to get tattooed right now. I'm gonna get tattooed right now. Hold on, Marcus, right before this. Yo, I'm gonna take, hit this real quick. Let's wait, right? Yeah. Left, right, left, right, left. Um, Piero's turn. It's fine, man. It's fine. Yeah, how do you feel right now, bro? It's fine. <laughs> I need my hands. Let's do this together. Let's do this together, bro. Okay. I got it. You be in the moment. I'm gonna take it. My bikes? Yeah. It's first ever tattoo. It's, it's radiant, would you say? Yeah. Okay. Oh. This session, this counseling session's ending. It's 2021. Too soon, too soon. You've got a tough one. If you don't like High School Musical, you suck. I love it. But Zach is. It's great. Zach is. Sure. One piano, one piano. 
Oh, yeah. Here, don't look at it. Just look at me. Look at him. What do you What do you think is like a? Feels like kind of like a like a mini like a tiny little vibrator. That's a that's not what I'm saying. He feels it. He feels it. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ, right there. There we go. Who the fuck's still here? I didn't know I was fucking moving. <laughs> How did you feel about the Queen's Gambit? Did you think it was a good show? My name is Kira. Kira Manel. A tattoo artist from Toulouse. Okay guys, so update. We just got back to the restaurant and his bag is safe and secured right here. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they brought. You saw. We were getting you tattoos. Saw. Guys, two dollars for this man, no problem. Just done. No exactly. Our new boy from Mexico. Yes, <laughs> now every time. This. He's good energy. I don't know if you guys can see the tattoo right here, but PT, Tulum team. Too many memories made here. And we randomly got tattoos right now.